the sun before it was the metropolitan city that it is today. So I have just a couple of examples of the desert um, from the Superstition Mountains, just east of Phoenix. Uh, he exhibited his work in the gallery at the, uh, the Biltmore Hotel. It was run by Caroline Smirthway, who was a great patron of the arts. And he did very well selling his work there. Here's another Phoenix subject. And the color in this painting is just phenomenal, I think. This is along one of the canals. And again, going back to that unfinished work that I, that I showed you, I mean, you can really imagine that someday, you know, a foundation like that underneath a finished work like this. So in the fall of 1934, Gunnar had gone to St. Louis. Uh, a good friend of his who spent summers uh, at the Grand Canyon actually had a summer home, uh, if you can imagine, out at uh, Grandview Point, or near Grandview Point. Uh, was a fellow named Bishop Scarlet, was his last name, who uh, lived in St. Louis. And uh, Bishop Scarlet has a, had arranged, helped arrange for an exhibit of Gunnar's work in St. Louis. And while back there, he suggested that Gunnar visit his doctor because Gunnar knew that he had a heart condition. Uh, he was, uh, he, was sure. he, he smoked pretty heavily also. Uh, he, he had a great, a great, um, group of friends at the South Rim, and what they did for recreation was play cards and drink and smoke. So, um, Gunnar was beginning to pay the price for that. He, he did have a heart condition, and he, um, he was aware of it, but his friends said, you know, I'm a little bit concerned.